Okay, bourbon and beer A to Z here. We got something very special today. We have a uh, a state uh, a state select Willet Rye. So this was given to me by a uh, a friend, very good friend. Um, I've tried it. I tried not to. I tried to make on camera here my first taste of this, and then we've got Napoleon Complex from Wicked Weed. So uh, this is a hoppy pale ale, very dry. The guys over at Iroquois Wine and Spirits let me try this one or gave me this one to try. Now this is, this one I have not tried yet. Flying blind as the case may be on this one. So I normally like a, an IPA, it's a hoppy pale ale, so not exactly an IPA. It's a little lighter, a lot lighter, very heady, but uh, and going with our Halloween theme, it's it's October, so why not? We have our uh, skull glasses with the with the skull ice cube. I don't know if you can tell that that's a skull ice cube, but it is. <laughs> anyway, so I'm gonna taste a little bit on ice now. This stuff is hot. Uh, it's this is bottled from a single barrel of rye, so. We decided to go with rye, not not necessarily a bourbon this time, especially since this was given to me. Uh, this is from barrel number 105. Uh, some guys selected this. They went up with this friend. And uh, this stuff is, it's good, but man, has it got some heat. So it's a 113.2 proof. Came out of the barrel 56.6 alcohol. Mm. And this is... Like I said, this is nice stuff, but it is it has got a little heat to it. The flavor is amazing, but I'll be honest with you, I do prefer the ice on it. Okay, so I'm just going to let that mellow for a minute. I'm going to let you just go off with the bottle. Keep my wicked weed right in the middle so you can see it. So we're getting a lot of, lot of hop smell, good nose to it. I don't know if you can see here, but the, there's some pretty good, pretty good head to that. That's good. I kind of was expecting a little bit, a little bit hoppier. The um, the stone enjoyed by 1031 that I had the other day was a little hoppier. Um, but this is good. It's got that, that hoppy, that pine and citrus kind of finish to it. Um, yeah, you know, I was dealing with some short people this week who uh, seem to have a little bit of their Napoleon complex. So I thought I'd give this a shot. Now this is uh, this is coming in at a, uh, a 5.2. So Wicked Weed is out of North Carolina. North Carolina is putting out some good stuff. They've got some Oscar Pinner that's over there in, in uh, Brevard, North Carolina. Um, uh, let's see what else is out of there. Um, uh, Sierra Nevada's got a brewery that's out there. And uh, Highland, Highland out of Brevard is also very nice. So. The Asheville area, Brevard, North Carolina, is putting out some good beers lately. So that that hot summer days, cool mountain, those are pretty nice. Uh, so here we go, the rye, all on its lonesome. Mm. Good legs on that. See it stick into the glass. Holy crap, that's hot. Um, it's got it's got some strong alcohol to it. One thirteen proof. You'd kind of think it would, and you'd be right. So this stuff is great. Um, it's got some heat to it. You can you can get that vanilla. You can get those oak barrels uh, there at the there at the front end, but then the heat kind of the heat kind of overpowers. Um, I kind of a burn going down, but you know, hey, at a 113 proof, it's kind of what you'd expect. Um, yeah, I am going to have a little sip of this just 
to calm it a little bit. Man, that's a nice pair. So uh, I actually chose the Wicked Weed over to do with this because this is only a 5.2 ABV. Uh, the Napoleon Complex is only a 5.2 ABV. And I knew that this was that high, high proof bourbon. Now, Man, that caramel, that vanilla. Now you're getting some pretty good oakiness. Yeah, when you're when you're when you're getting that getting that nose on this, you're not that alcohol is is coming on real strong. So you're not really you're not really getting a whole lot of that. Not really getting a whole lot of those notes that you get here once you put it on ice. That ice seems to calm it down just a little bit. Now my friend Kevin over at Wings and Rings says that the ice locks in the flavor. It keeps it from, from changing a lot. So here hopefully we've got those got those vanilla notes. Mm. Man that ice sure brings out the sweetness of that. So the rye is, the rye's got such a sweetness to it. Um, that ice really calms down that, that heat. It doesn't, doesn't have that burn going down, man. This is, this is one of the smoother ryes that I've come across. Um, this I'd say is, is on a, on a par probably with that, uh, that Angel's Envy rye, which is, which is one of my favorites, but you got to throw that thing on ice. Um, Drinking it straight might might be a little a little tough. That doesn't make me doesn't make me less of a man. Ha ha. Mm. Man, that is so good on ice. The vanilla, that sweetness, that oak flavor. Oh man, this stuff is this stuff is worth getting. Now this this came from a private a private select, but if you can get a hold of some single barrel, uh, will it? family estate rye something that's an overproof if you're if your local liquor store can get up there to to will it and, and purchase a barrel and and bottle it for you try to try to get a hold of that um you could try going to will it family estate and picking out a barrel yourself if uh if if you've got that kinds of means my friend uh bought in on a barrel and this is this is some of what he had so thanks so much uh i really appreciate it Mm. So will it single barrel family estate rye? Well worth it if you can find it in the store, man. This stuff is good. Throw that thing with an ice cube in it, big fat ice cube. This happens to be a skull ice cube. I appreciate that. Uh, thanks, Karen, for giving me those. Uh, and the wicked weed, good pale ale. You know, it's it's not it doesn't quite have the strength of the IPA. It's a little drier, um, but it's certainly got that piney that citrusy flavor. So uh, this is bourbon and beer A to Z, drink responsibly. Will it single family estate, single barrel, delicious, high proof rye, absolutely delicious, worth getting your hands on. And uh, Wicked Weed, Napoleon Complex. This is bourbon and beer A to Z. I'm Andy, signing off.